Let's sing it one more time. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. Tell your neighbor, God is able. Maybe you should preach it with power so that the person can believe like you believe. God is able. Hallelujah. Are we excited to be here? This is November's miracle service. I want to hear you make some noise. Give God the biggest shout of praise that you can. Make it a shout of victory. Make it a shout of triumph. Shouting and rejoicing is in the tent of the righteous. Hallelujah. I didn't ask you to stop anyway. You can keep doing it until you are tired. You can keep doing it until faith rises from inside of you. Somebody who knows tonight is his or a night for a miracle, for a touch. Lift your voice and shout a bigger shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can you wave your hands to him and give him praise? Just bless him for what he will do. Just thank him in advance for the breakthrough, for the miracles, for the testimonies. Because the Egyptians that you see right now, you will see no more. Thank him for doors that are about to open. You don't have to see it before it happens. Thank him in advance. Thank him in faith. This night is your night for a miracle. This night is a night for a transformation. For your encounter with the raw power of God. Wave your hands and give him the praise. Give him the glory. Give him praise. And so Father we agree tonight as a congregation that your presence will be mighty in this place we thank you for miracles we thank you for signs and wonders we thank you for impartations we thank you for deliverances we thank you because your, your children will experience total freedom and liberation by your hand and by your power we thank you because no soul under the sound of my voice is going back the same. In Jesus' precious name. Holy Spirit, we ask that you envelop this place with your glory, with your presence. Let us be captured in your glory this evening. Do great and awesome things. Do great and awesome things. Thank you, blessed Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. God's people say amen. let me hear a resounding amen. amen you can just shake the hands of one or two people beside you and just tell them to expect the unexpected tonight to see everybody here god bless you for coming i want us to just in one minute appreciate god for those who are following us online patiently from all across nigeria i know there are people from kaduna from abuja and different places around can we just celebrate god for them thank you god bless you god bless you god bless you for our, our online followers i want you to know that the same power at work here is reaching out to you in your homes in your offices and wherever you are time zone and distance is not a barrier for god's touch amen and i want to encourage us tonight it just takes a touch from the hand of the most high miracles are normal for him 
miracles are normal he doesn't have to stand up from his throne to move in your situation all he has to do is to speak a word i like our hearts to be open i beg you tonight make sure you are not distracted i'm speaking both to the congregation and to the workforce and everybody around let this be a night for every one of us to receive in jesus precious name amen before we go on with the meeting today i just want to um, honor some ministers in our midst uh, before we continue can we help celebrate our dear reverend reverend tema the shire the senior or the resident pastor of wisdom chapel may do the can we bless god for him thank you sir thank you amen thank you for coming sir god bless you i presume he just finished the meeting not too long and he's here and um, there's a pastor seated beside him that i want to just honor all the way from father's delight church gombe pastor ishaya god bless you sir thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you very much for coming and i trust god to bless us mightily amen Acts chapter 10 verse 38 I want to preach just briefly and then we'll minister tonight probably will be a long night I just pray the Lord will help me to walk with time but there's so much that God will do tonight I'm wondering why this miracle service is so so loaded but I just trust that it's because God has someone in mind to visit amen my prayer for you tonight is that god will break every protocol for your sake amen. and my prayer also is that god will talk about your issue today amen. and let a new door open for you in the name of jesus amen. acts chapter 10 just bring it down a little let's just see something from the scripture Acts chapter 10 verse 38 Acts chapter 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with what? And with what? Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him for God was with him it's a very popular scripture but I want to draw something tonight and talk to us briefly about the Holy Spirit before we get another mic now okay the Bible says God anointed Jesus and the Bible was specific about um, not just the method but the Bible was specific about the instrument or rather will I use the very object or the thing by which Jesus was anointed with and the Bible remarkably said Jesus was anointed by God with the Holy Spirit and with power so it is expected that when the holy spirit comes upon a man that man is supposed to walk please bring it down you don't have to it doesn't have to be loud thank you when the holy spirit comes on a man it becomes easy it becomes the next thing that should happen is an empowerment from god that rests upon that man that's why Jesus said to the disciples in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 he said you will receive power of course I know Jesus was speaking from his own experience he said you will receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come so the Holy Ghost will come first and then he ushers you into an investment of the power of God that gives the believer the ability to do the works of God 
he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost the phrase jesus of nazareth tells you that jesus existed like every other man on earth for 30 years though he was the word though he was prophesied as the son of god that was to come but for 30 years jesus walked on this earth and there was nothing to really distinguish him there was nothing to come on him as a sign for him to enter into the fullness of god what god wanted for him it's almost as if god cannot do anything on earth without the ministry of the holy spirit and it is important that we understand because that will be the secret for what god will do tonight the holy spirit the holy spirit is the custodian of all the power that exists in the universe of course by now we should understand if we are conversant with scripture that the bible says that power belongs to god i think it's in psalms that says once has he spoken and twice i have heard that power belongs to god every power on earth and in heaven the power with which the element exist the power in the forces of nature the power in the atmosphere the power in the universe every kind of energy that exists within this universe comes from god he is the source and the holy spirit is the very custodian of that power he is the reason why everything have their being is the one who has empowered everything possible to exist according to God's purpose and plan. And so when God was to create man, the last component was a release from his spirit. The Bible says God breathed into the nostrils of man the breath of life. The breath of life was an element of the spirit of God that gave man the capacity to come alive and to live and exist as God wanted him. So God would not do anything on earth at all without the Spirit's ministry. And when it was time for Jesus to walk on this earth and to begin his ministry, the Bible says the Spirit of God descended on him as a dove. Jesus was the first man. Listen carefully. Jesus, according to scripture, was the first man that carried all the investment of God's power on him. Watch this. When he was born, he came in form of a man, as the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2. But the Bible was clear in Philippians chapter 2 that for him to come in the form of a man, he had to lay down his own qualities. Everything that made him God, he suspended or was suspended from him. And then he came as a man so that he can depend on the Holy Spirit for everything that God will have him do. And the Bible says in John chapter 3, John the Baptist himself was speaking of Jesus. He said, God has given him the spirit without measure. So the first time that God was ever contained in a man completely was when Jesus Christ was anointed. It's one thing to be graced, but it's another thing to be anointed. Many of us may not be conversant with this now, but this is... This is real. It's one thing to be graced. The Bible is clear about grace. The Bible is clear about grace being a gift from God. The Bible is clear about grace being a predestined plan of God for mankind. So every man that is on this earth has been predestined by God to function or to walk in a way. Are we together? some have been destined as pastors as ministers some as engineers some as politicians whatever has been written concerning you in the plan of god before your existence is factored by what we call grace grace is the economy in the kingdom of god that sustains that but it's one thing to be graced according to the plan of god yes you are called a preacher but that doesn't mean you will automatically walk in the fullness of that office or in the equipment that comes with that office. It's one thing to be graced by God, but then it's another thing entirely to be anointed by God, to step in. 
because the anointing is when God puts a measure of himself you know every company one of the signs to know that this company manufactured this product is that they place their seal on that product so anywhere you see that product carrying that seal it means that this company are the manufacturers of this product is that not so are we together so for god to place his endorsement on a man for god to commend a man to all of creation as one who is sent from god himself he the last thing he does to that man is he places a divine endorsement on that man it is called the anointing a measure of the spirit of god that comes on that man and gives him the license to act in a class of god according to his office according to his predestined call so you can be graced and not be anointed if you can follow, if you are following me say amen. amen you can be graced but not be anointed even though you cannot be anointed without being graced that's the reason why he said many are called but few are chosen he said those who he predestined them he he called uh, he called yeah, is it called now paraphrasing romans 8 verse 29 or so he said those that he, he he foreknew he predestined and those he predestined he called justified rather so when the lord when god places the anointing on a man it means that that man has been given the capacity to function that means that that man will no longer operate just like any other human being because there is something on that man that makes him operate in the god class there is something added to his natural being that makes him supernatural there is something that has come on him that is capable of suspending the limitations of nature for him to function in a higher class it's called the anointing but for jesus the bible says god himself anointed jesus with the holy spirit and with power paul said in colossians chapter 2 that in him speaking of jesus now in him dwelleth the fullness of the godhead so when jesus walked on him on the earth that container that body was what we call jesus but the anointing of the holy ghost on him was the part of him we called christ that's why he was called jesus the christ the word christ means anointed and for jesus like i said earlier he was anointed completely all of god was upon him that's the reason why that verse was careful to tell us what happened next he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about there was so much investment of power on him by the holy ghost that jesus didn't have to hold a crusade everywhere he went there was enough power to go around i read somewhere in the in mark's gospel today even when jesus crossed the boat to another place just to rest the bible says he entered the house so that no one who knew he was there people kept looking for him the reason is because the moment you carry the anointing people must look for you because you are carrying their solution you didn't hear what i said <laughs> i don't like crowd i don't like people that's okay if you are not anointed but if the anointing comes on you because that's the number one solution to all of the problems of humanity jesus was so anointed it was evident to everybody in his generation that this is the one who carries all of god so everywhere he went there was good that will happen just like a man can be so possessed by demon spirit that anywhere they enter bad things will happen how many of you have seen people like that for instance they steal anywhere they enter something must be missing that one is no longer that they are trained thieves or they know how to steal that one is a spirit even if you hide something the spirit will give them word of knowledge they will know where it is and pick it so for some even if you use cctv camera you won't catch them there is a spiritual investment on them that makes them doers of evil wherever they go the same way jesus was anointed and everywhere he went he did good 
the holy spirit is the custodian and the secret to all the power of god and that's what we need in our life it takes the power of god to bring a complete change and solution it doesn't take prayer hello hello did i say prayer is not good prayer is good but prayer is meant to place a demand on that investment called power it's power that does the job that's the reason why when god answers your prayer he answers it by a release of his power he answers it either by a release of his power on your life or by an extension of his power through the life of a man to meet that need because your situations will only answer to power not noise ezekiel was in the valley of dry bone he passed by and the bones were very dry god asked him son of man will these bones leave he said well only you know because though i'm a prophet though i've been seeing visions before now but me here without that investment of power will not do anything the bones remain as dry and as dead as possible if you come to a point in your life where there are things you cannot explain or there are situations around you that seem not to change it may be that the power of god is the missing element once has he spoken twice i've heard that power belongs to god it's the power of god that changes things it's the power of god that causes transformation it's the power of god that makes men become like another man it's the power of god that can bring a man out of penury and poverty many people think that god does not extend the demonstration of his power when it comes to wealth no remember that the first reason for the anointing is for the poor he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord has anointed me to do what preach good news what is good news to a poor man that your poverty is over that's why when jesus was in a crusade with those guys for three days no food jesus told them he said you give them something to eat i wonder why jesus asked that question to his disciples knowing fully well that they, they didn't have what it takes john john's gospel in chapter 6 said because jesus himself knew what to do in my thinking maybe jesus was trying to test the little anointing that he had given them you remember at some point he gave them power isn't it and then all of a sudden five loaves and two fishes became enough to feed five thousand people it's not mistake it's not scam it's the power of god you don't mind our generation or you don't mind this war because now when a magician or an occultic person performs something it's normal for them to be supernatural but when a believer steps into the power of god it becomes another thing they always want to criticize and i have a i have a word for this generation they are yet to see the power of god oh. you think you have seen god complete the bible says he's able to do exceeding abundantly beyond what you ask or think that means even our mind cannot comprehend that's why as you sit down here looking at me with all kinds of cases that seem unaddressable it only takes a moment for god to change everything and turn your life around isn't it amazing that he does it with something you cannot see can you see the power around you no but it is able to cause change around you but that power can only come when the holy spirit is present present either in a man or in a place he was the one that caused the formation of the earth even before god spoke the bible says the spirit brooded on the earth just like tonight the holy spirit will brood over some people there are people here looking at me now that it seems like a dark cloud is hovering over your life how do i know nothing good is working everything good that should come is being blocked by a force you don't understand it only takes the holy spirit to hover over you to move over you like he did the bible says the earth was without form and was void empty shapeless 
but when the spirit brooded he gave it life he caused the shapeless and empty air to receive life to bring forth isn't it amazing that god didn't have to create anything and put in the earth again he began to ask the earth to bring forth so the earth was translated from being empty and shapeless to being a life giver and the bible says in first corinthians 15 that the first adam was a living soul but the last adam became a life giving not only was he quickened by the spirit but he, he was given the ability to give out life that's one thing i like about the holy spirit when he comes upon a man he doesn't just heal you he doesn't just deliver you he leaves a residue of himself on you to make you the deliverer to your generation many people don't know that whatever god has healed you of you are capable of healing others of that's how the anointing works whatever deliverance happens to you by the if it is the power of god that happened there is still a residue on your life that can command that deliverance to others did the bible says upon mount zion there shall be what deliverance first then at the end in verse 21 he says from that mount zion that men have been delivered that power will make them saviors to go out and extend the same liberty power of god friends this generation the only language they understand is the power of god it's time for us to stop having services without power it's time for us to stop living normal lives it's time for us to walk in the full investment of the power and the grace that comes from the spirit of god look at what he made about to out of the disciples fishermen tax collectors politicians all kinds of people uneducated people jesus gathered them for three and a half years and when he left something came on them and what was the testimony of them he said these who have turned the world upside down something i'm talking about an investment that vetoes every limitation you have nobody will remember whether you went to school or not because it has make you it has made you a problem solver who will care about your background or where you come from no that's what i'm talking about that's the kind of power investment i'm talking all that was said of him was jesus of nazareth and the pharisees say can anything okay uh, was it philip or nathaniel he say can anything good come out of that shows you that jesus background already disqualified him the word nazareth means tissues and thorns you know what tissues and thorns are chuku chuku how can you name the a city that how can you give the city that name it means that whatever happens in that city it will only produce what is equal to can you eat chuku chuku that's the meaning that was the destiny of that city it meant that nothing good will come out from there anything good will be close to grass but a man when the power of the spirit of god came on him he vetoed everything because of jesus nazareth became known who would have cared about nazareth before now but because of jesus jesus of nazareth for one two three two thousand years and still counting we now know where nazareth is why because a man let me tell you it's not about your background I used to say it before that it's not about your location it's about what you have localized that something comes on your life cuts you of the holy spirit just like i'm prophesying now we are getting close to that point where the northeast of nigeria will soon become the center global center of revival I'm telling you believe it believe it it once was known for terrorism but i tell you there is a move that is coming there is a grace that is about to come something is about to break forth in this land that will announce her to the nations of the earth those people who have gone for pilgrimage the most popular thing about what all that they have said the most popular thing about their visit 
is the places that they are shown that Jesus had contact with and it happens to be that that place they call Israel is no better than where we are in terms of weather in terms of climate in terms of uh, you know natural natural resources as it were daddy has been there before so he bears witness to what I'm saying but because the power of God was upon a man that place till today has become pilgrimage it is that same power that will move in your situation right now you don't have to see it you don't have to seek God for him to move it's that same power that is able to break the shackles and the hold of darkness that is on you as I talk now there are many of us who you probably think what you need is healing but it's not healing what you need is deliverance because when a situation keeps coming back again and again it means it's being sponsored by an external force it takes the power of god to bring liberation the bible says healing all who were oppressed of the devil every kind of situation that brings oppression comes from one source the devil and it takes the power of god alone not talk not english not sound nothing else but that power that is available and capable of making transformation there is power in your name miracles happen in your name as we lift our voice to praise it's you that we see it's you that we see ha, i like that song it says when we lift up our voice what we see is you that means when the power of god steps into your life it comes to correct it and restore its original form according to the plan of god your life was planned well documented before you came on earth everything sealed by the hand of god so when the power of god invades your life this night it will look for anything that was not part of the original plan correct it and change it in such a way that it carries the signature of god signed and sealed by his power that means when he heals you he heals you forever when he delivers you he delivers you forever when he does miracles and god told me this night he said he will do a quick walk I'm telling you, a quick walk. Forget about what you are going through. Uh, you see, sometimes it's good that it's good that when we approach God, we don't approach Him from the mentality of our situations or our predicaments or what people have said around us. Nothing will ever reduce God to a point where He becomes equal with men. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. The Bible says, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things. All things. That's the reason why even when you are going through crisis and you are jumping up and down, God is just still at a place. The Bible says they were in a boat. The wind was boisterous around them. That was the time Jesus went to sleep. And some of us are facing that right now. How do I know? It seems like God is silent in your life at this point, especially on some issues. Could it be that you are going through what the disciples went through? Jesus was sleeping. And the Bible says when they woke him up, what was the first thing he told them? He said, how come you have no faith? How can I be in a boat with you and you expect that this ship will sink? That means that even if they had not called on Jesus, that miracle will still have happened so it was more like jesus telling them why why would you see me sleeping for me to be sleeping in this boat you should probably join me and sleep or you sit down and just keep singing because the disciple says what manner of man is this that even the wind and seas obey him they knew that he was there how come the water filled everywhere the disciples were but he didn't get to where jesus was they knew the elements of nature knows your situation knows when when it comes in contact with the power of god he knows 
the forces from your background from your father's house or mother's house or wherever that seem to be oppressing or causing or impeding your destiny or your advancement they know when you initiate the power of god and that's what is about to happen this night some of you have been coming for miracle services see others testify see all things god is doing i came to tell you that this night is your night this night i saw an angel come from heaven carrying a file on his hand and on that file was written only one name and that name is your name i didn't give any name i just said that name is your name so all you do is what put your faith on it put your faith on it be determined that god must visit me this night the Canaanite woman kept asking Jesus to heal her daughter. Jesus said, leave me alone. In other words, I'm not in the business of healing today. He said, must I take what is meant for the children and give to little dogs? And the Canaanite woman did something very shocking. She told Jesus, even the dogs eat what falls from the... That means, even if you don't heal me, somehow I will, I will catch this healing today for you to have come here. That's the meaning of that statement. Jesus said, I can't take what belongs to the children and give to the dogs. But she thought, turned it back to Jesus and said, the truth is the children will not finish it so that the larger share can come to the dogs. In other words, it doesn't matter whether my name is called or not, whether my case is called or not. As far as I know, I'm under this atmosphere right now and the spirit is moving something has to shift in my life some of you walk out of this door with different kinds of messages on your phone i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you there is a way god will bless a man you will begin to ask questions where were these blessings before now have you been there before if you have not been there i welcome you to that ceremony where you will be part of it this night here People who should remember you, who have never ha who had no business with you. This is the night you begin to ask, where were they all this while? Why? Because the power of the Spirit of God has been introduced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Some of you came here, you are not seeking healing. You are not seeking deliverance. You just came because you want to be filled with more of God. I tell you, there's an anointing for you this night. This night. This night. While others are experiencing the signs and wonders, God is transforming you to become the sign and the wonder. That's what God is about to do. Make you a sign and a wonder. Saul had no business with any anointing or anything. He was only out to look for his father's donkeys. But when he met Samuel, the Bible says he became another man. And from looking from, for donkeys... He became a king overnight so some of you may come here you have one expectation but god is about to do even what you didn't ask for some of us you know some of us when we come before the presence of god if you have three needs for instance you look at the whole atmosphere look at everything and say well i don't think god you now make a verdict for god i don't think this night is my night so god i allow you to just do one leave the other two with me the Bible says he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you ask. So God, you can be here and God is visiting your family where they are. You can be here and God is handling an issue in your village. You can be here and God is, hand, is, 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 is on your case in a company where tomorrow morning they will call your name the first. Even if you don't have business with promotion, get ready to see the wonder working power of God at work. I'm saying that it's available tonight but how do i connect to this power that comes through the person of the spirit and then we'll pray very simple how do i connect to this power that is released by the spirit very simple just one word surrender surrender there's a reason why the bible says be anxious for nothing every time you are in need and you are desperate 
you 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 are you become at haste you become restless and then the enemy begins to move us to go into the motions thinking that in those motions god will visit you no the bible says there was a wind but god was not in the wind there was fire god was not there there was earthquake god was not there how did he come a still small voice god waits until the point where you let go of your efforts you let go of your will and surrender simple many of us have done every other thing but surrender to the spirit of god how do i know you keep praying over the issue but you are worried the sign that you prayed and god has answered you is that that worry leaves you and there's peace but every time you pray on an issue or you're expecting an issue and you are filled with worries it means god has not stepped in surrender completely it's like somebody who goes to the hospital and should be operated after as after answering the question from the doctor is there anything else you should do you lie down and allow them to examine you or perhaps it's time for the treatment now or an operation will you still stand up and keep telling them what to do the doctor knows the injection to give you and use that's the reason why they give injections for you to sleep because maybe your being awake will disrupt the process so they must put you at a place of complete surrender like god did to adam before he created for the first time for god to bring something out of adam he had to bring him to that state many of us have not learned how to surrender to god you have done every other thing but you have not learned how to handle uh, how to just allow god handle it how to just rest in the hand of god and say lord whether you do it or not i'll still praise you the moment you take your eyes off that problem and fix it on god that's the window of opportunity for the holy spirit to comes come in surrender that's all surrender i surrender i surrender i want to know you lord i want to know you more i surrender I surrender I want to know you more I want to know you one more time I surrender I surrender I surrender I surrender to your will to your power to your grace I'm no longer in haste. I choose to allow you do what you want to do. I surrender. Surrender. I want to see your power at work tonight. It only takes surrender surrendering to him take off the anxiety take off the stress your up and down has not solved the problem you're running from one from pillar to post has not solved it including all the vigils you have been having <laughs> i thought last year and i told them when you have done everything that you know to do and nothing is happening then don't do anything again that's what Moses told the, 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 the children of Israel. The enemies were bes behind them, mountains beside them, the sea before them. It was a dead end. What did Moses tell them? At this point, stand still. Or probably they were going to look for Julius Berger to clear the mountain so that they can find a way out. <laughs> you know, that's what some of us do. Even when you are in the presence of God, you, still, you are still... Just bring your heart to a point of stillness. The Holy Spirit is very gentle. It's at that point of stillness that he walks in. Checks into your life. Does the miracle and check out. Many of us have not learned to surrender to him.
if only we can learn to surrender that's what jesus did the bible didn't say jesus was coming back from an all-night prayer the bible didn't say jesus was coming back from fasting when he came out of the river he just came out of the river and the bible says the spirit of god descended on him even the prayer and fasting he went to do he waited for empowerment to go into it surrender to his will surrender to the workings of his power god is the only wise god he has different methods of solving an issue the fact that he solved your neighbor's issue like this and you guys have the same issue doesn't mean he will come like that and the reason why he chooses different methods is so that his name will be glorified god is not just interested in meeting your need he's also interested in the meeting of your need that brings him glory that's the reason why some cards you tried to play and expected god to walk through your cards and solve the issue god didn't because he wasn't going to give him glory so for instance somebody's looking for a job and he goes looks for somebody he knows in the organization and submits cv after interview then he goes back and say god do your own no. meanwhile his god is saying god use that man god say no that will not give him glory because that man will say i did it for you isaiah says shall the axe boast of itself is him getting the glory and most times he gets the glory when all hope is lost he waits till you get to the end he waits till you get to a point where it's life or death. And then, that's the reason why most times people were delivered after shouting Jesus. Was because, it was not just because they shouted Jesus. They shouted it from a place of, if you don't help us, we are finished. That's when God stepped in. How long will you allow God to struggle with you? How long? For some of us, it has just been to have faith for once. Just once. But this night, let's release our all to Him. Don't think about how He's going to do it. Don't think about when He's going to do it. Believe that He's going to do it now. Every time men surrendered, they saw another dimension of God revealed. But every time men choose to do it on their own, God steps aside. Tonight, which category do you belong to? Some of you came here tonight. You just, all you need, the greatest miracle for you is the miracle of salvation. You need to make peace with God. Would you surrender to Him? You have been used to getting miracles from God and going away. Will you surrender to him this night? Will you surrender to his will? Come breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your will. Dear Lord, I'm yielding to your spirit and I'm walking in your love. Jesus, I adore. Jesus, I adore. Oh, Jesus, I adore. Your holy before we begin to minister this night or rather begin to pray strangely as it will be i'm going to make the altar call right now and please make sure there are no movements anywhere like i said some of us came here tonight because we need to make peace with god some of us came here tonight because our greatest miracle will be salvation please no movement anywhere you cannot receive the spirit of god or encounter 
a daily manifestation of his power if you don't know jesus this hit and run thing that we do in church these days has to stop people only come to church when they have a need the moment god meets their need they run away the reason why your life is the way it is and it has reduced you to a need driven person is because god has no place in you it takes god in the life of a man to give him stability structure and balance i'm going to give make the altar call now and i plead with you to respond the bible says is the spirit that convicts the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment is the one who seals your salvation being born again is more than coming to church being born again has no business with bearing a christian name being born again has no business with coming from a christian family being born again has nothing to do with the fact that your parents are pastors or deacons is an experience of the life of god in a man it's an experience where the lord jesus comes to tabernacle in you through the person of the holy spirit it translates you from a life of condemnation and destruction to a life of salvation and victory if you are here this evening maybe in the auditorium or outside under the sound of my voice or online and you know that jesus is truly not your lord and savior you come to church fine you attend special programs like you came for miracle service but you know that there is no relationship between you and god I want to give you an opportunity tonight probably you want to say lord i'm tired of running away it's time for me to accept you i want you to lift your right hand wherever you are or maybe you were once born again you came out for altar call received jesus you were doing well but right now because of many circumstances around you you don't know where you are with god again it's good for you to rededicate your life all eyes open if you are in any of this category don't be ashamed i want you to raise your right hand you are not doing god a favor when you are saved you are doing yourself a favor the bible says why we were yet seen as he died it's an extension of his love but your decision tonight will qualify you to receive of that love god wants to rescue you from death and destruction he wants to rescue you from the torment and the oppression of the devil if only you say yes to him wherever you are you want to give your heart to the lord or you want to rededicate your life again afresh i want you to raise your right hand jesus i adore jesus i adore Jesus, I adore. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Raise your right hand if you want to say yes to Jesus. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus sees the way. Jesus. If your right hand is raised up i want you to walk to the front very quickly if you are thinking about it now it means god is speaking to you i want you to run as fast as you can to the front keep your pride away keep your shame away forget about who is around you and say yes to jesus he's calling you he's calling you imagine him on the cross he died a shameful and a painful death for you for you just for you i want you to defy every odds and run to the front now 
Oh, Jesus is the answer. Not money, not connection, not family members. All of those can disappoint. But only Jesus is the way. If you can hear his voice, respond. Say, Jesus. God is still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for those two, three persons. Above it, there's no other. Say, Jesus is the answer. Today, I'm hoping there's no Jesus. Now, while I'm praying for these ones, if you know that you can feel the Lord convicting you in your heart, maybe you are ashamed because you came with a friend. Or you are ashamed of your title in your church. You are a deacon. How will people look at me? Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, when you need me most before my father, I also will be ashamed. But if you are bold enough to respond to his love, that's the only thing that can save you. That's the only thing that can bring deliverance from the yoke that the enemy has placed on your life. I still give an opportunity. I feel like God is talking to somebody. In particular, I sense a lady right now. God is talking to you. I'm giving that opportunity. This may be the last opportunity. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today even though they ignore him but above him there is no other those of you in front before I lead you to take the sinner's prayer I want you to stand with your eyes closed and imagine the cross that story was not a myth it was not a legend it was not fabricated by human beings it is real someone hung on that cross with nails in his hands in his feet blood everywhere because of you he died because of you he was mocked by his generation but he did it because of you Tonight, I want you to place that image before you as you say yes to him. As he comes to rescue your soul, I want you to put your right hand on your chest and repeat this prayer briefly after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I repent of my sins. I believe that you died and rose again for my justification I confess you tonight as my Lord and my Savior I receive your eternal life thank you for saving me I am yours now and forever in Jesus name now let me pray for you father i pray for these ones in the name of jesus who died for them and i ask i declare rather that their sins are forgiven today i declare that their past is wiped off i declare that they receive eternal life right now i declare that they are saved and i ask holy spirit that you come and live inside of them make their life what it truly should be let their lives give you glory i declare that from today they live in victory above sin above satan above death above hell and above the grief they will serve you all the days of their lives in jesus name in jesus name amen, amen. can we celebrate god for this once
now listen to me carefully i'm speaking both to them i mean some of them are in tears i'm speaking both to them and to us listen now that you are saved it is important that you are planted and established are we together it is important going to church you don't go to church to do anybody a favor you go to church because that is the place where you can be grounded in the word of truth that is the place where your life with god can experience continuous progression so i encourage you to find a bible believing church and be part of or you can be here every sunday with us like this let the world transform you into the image of christ so that you can grow from glory to glory in victory and in the liberty that jesus has given you and god help you in jesus name amen please in a single file just follow the young lady behind there she will lead you to our counselors and then they'll take your contacts and pray for you can we celebrate god for them as a group? if you are interested in souls i want you to clap hallelujah are we ready tonight in your seated position a lot of things will happen today by the prayer and declarations that i will make i just want our faith to believe what god will do today i want us to agree together and trust god for something great but in the next two three minutes while you are seated i want you to lift up your voice i didn't say sing i didn't say discuss lift your voice pray to the god of heaven and say lord i am here tonight because i desire a change mention whatever it is that is a request mention whatever it is that must live your life or that the lord must do today lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray I will call upon the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Who is worthy to be praised? I will magnify the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be the Lord and the rock of my salvation be exalted the lord reigneth blessed be the lord ha! let the rock have a chorus have be exalted Cause you deserve the glory and the honor. Are you praying? We lift our voice in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our voice to worship as we bless your hope. Can we rise on our feet? For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else. Let me hear you sing for me. There is no one. Say you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, say, come on one more time, say. Oh, what else? 
Lift your voice and sing to him. Cabio. Now please listen quickly. There's such there's such an atmosphere of the power of God here right now. I'm going to do some things tonight and I want us to cooperate to get together. While I minister, I'll minister in the prophetic. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. Listen, there is the prophet, the revelatory aspect where God singles you out, mentions your case, either because he wants to bring an end to it or because he wants to do something new. But then the creative dimension is when God does something you weren't expecting. I want us to be open to both. I'll also minister under the deliverance anointing. Now listen, I'm going to talk a little on this before we pray. Please make sure at this point you are not distracted. Try to ensure movements are curtailed. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Notice it is Mount Zion. It is the place of God's dwelling. It is a place where God and his children are resident. Yet the first thing that will happen is deliverance. Deliverance is the activity of the Holy Spirit that separates men from spirits or forces or circumstances that tries to limit or impede their destinies and their advancement. You don't have to be possessed to need deliverance. If you find that there is a cycle of failure or there is a cycle of misfortune around your life, even though you are a Christian and you are anointed, you need deliverance. There are many of us here where this is your session. There are many of us that are troubled and plagued by several forces that you, have, you know not about. Some of us forces that are attributed to our families where we come from, the regions or the geographical locations of our origins. There are patterns initiated in the families where we come from, many of us. And this may be the reason why you may be good or hardworking, or you may have what it takes, but you seem not to move from where you are to another level. Every time you notice that there is some form of limitation perpetually around any area of your life, what you need is deliverance. 
and i want us to be open tonight because god told me today for us to receive breakthroughs there will be several deliverances that will happen the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty whether or not you fall down or under the influence of the anointing you will know when you have been touched when that embargo is taken from your life and that's what god wants to do tonight and then we're also going to pray for the sick now god is going to touch us in different ways and when i give the go ahead if you notice god has touched you in the course of the prayers i'd want you to please don't be shy run to the front let's share your testimony okay your testimony shares or shared seals your miracle is that okay is that okay are we ready tonight can we lift our hands to him there's somebody here i'm going to pray deliverances right now but before that there's somebody here i heard a name linda linda or lillian right that like that and it's this person is connected to someone here it may not be somebody who is here but there's somebody connected to you with the name linda or lillian if you are please come i want to pray for you holy spirit thou art welcome in this place holy spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me know. Something happened, and now, oh, there's such a cloud of his presence moving over this place. eyes closed everywhere I heard a loud shout in my ear and that's the sign for us to begin to pray there's somebody whose family is under some form of demonic influence the hand of God will come on that person for deliverance you will hear a loud shout now in the next few seconds once it happens I'll begin to pray father I thank you for your presence and your power that is in this place and I thank you for the great things that you are about to do tonight. I thank you for the move of your power. It's going to happen now. I sense the anointing coming strong. There's another person in the congregation. There will be another shout in the congregation. And I'll begin to pray. Eyes closed everywhere. Ushers, when you get the person in the congregation, please bring the person out. There's such a weight of the presence and the power of the spirit that's it bring it i'm about to pray lift your hands eyes closed father anyone here present that is under any form of limitation any yoke my goodness the power of god is everywhere any yoke any oppression from the kingdom of darkness that is upon anyone god has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name and at the name jesus every knee shall bow 
Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus, let every yoke be broken now. As your children shout the name Jesus, let every oppression be lifted. Let every yoke be broken. Let deliverance happen. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I command oppressions to be lifted. Let yokes be broken. Let yokes be broken. Let yokes be broken. Let yokes be broken. I'm still praying. Lift your hands. I'm praying against the spirit of delay, 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 delay over families here. I see about 11 families represented here. There is a pattern and a cycle of delay, either in academics, either in marriage, either in business. It takes a long time before anybody rises. You are going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout, those altars will be broken now. Those yokes of delay will be removed right now. Father, let it be done. Let your fire be released. And let the yoke of delay be destroyed. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let those altars be crushed. Let the powers of delay be broken. Let the powers of delay be broken. Let the powers of hell be broken. I see chains. I see chains. Let the fire of God consume those chains now. Consume those chains now. Consume Aka Parakata. Soparakate. Sope Rieke. Embrato Kasuria. Parata Kasuria. Please lift your hands. I'm still praying. I'm seeing padlocks in the spirit. Padlocks. I don't see these visions often. But anytime I see it, it represents the destinies of men that have been tied down. I don't care wherever the enemy has caged you. Everything about your life, nothing is working. You are only advancing in age. But it looks like you have been caged. Wherever your destiny has been caged. Wherever your destiny has been kept on a lock and key is about to be released right now father i place a demand let your fire be released from heaven fire from heaven fire from he I, I feel that fire fire from heaven and i command those padlocks to be destroyed i command those padlocks to be destroyed i set you free i command your destinies to be released be free now be free now be free now be free now be free now! What the Lord has done for me I cannot tell it all What the Lord God is still working God is still working What the Lord has done for me I shall, I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me. Can we lift our hands? I'm seeing, I'm seeing the feet of certain persons here. Your feet, your legs. And I see ropes around those legs. And it's connected to where you come from. Your time of deliverance has come. Lift your hands. Eyes closed everywhere. Please just allow the ushers to walk. Or if there are no ushers around you, please just make sure you help them. It says, Is this not the fast that I've commanded? That you undo the heavy burdens. That you let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke father anyone's who whose progress has been tied 
your legs represent your motion your progress anyone whose progress has been tied from your state of origin from your villages by the powers of hell by ancestral powers by the powers of foundation in a name that is above every other name i release the fire of god right now let those ropes be consumed let those ropes be consumed i set you free now i set you free now by fire be free now 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 you not believe what i just saw but i'm about to pray against this i just saw an accident please lift your hands i saw an accident just now i just saw an accident in a small vehicle father anyone ah marando coparatica he said death has been swallowed up in victory lord anyone who has been marked for death between now and the end of this year either by accident or by anything whatsoever i cancel the sentence of death i cancel the sentence of death i rebuke that accident i declare that it shall be far from you it shall be far from you be free now be free now be free now i'm still praying against death you experience untimely death from where you come from your family whatever it is people die anyhow this one i see about five to six people in fact i see i've seen that they will come under the power of god because this is deliverance that god is bringing You'll not believe what I want to pray. But any family of village idol, family of village witchcraft that eats the people in your family or in your kindred, people are cut off in their prime or they die mysteriously. In the name of Jesus, I crush it by fire. I crush it by fire. I crush it by fire. How are thou fallen, O Lucifer, son of the morning? I command that yoke to be broken now. I command those spirits to leave your family now. I command them to go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My hand. We thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. My We thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. One of you in front, all of you in front, just lift your hands. There's somebody I want to pray for, but fire will come on you now. I just, I saw fire coming. One of you. And God is visiting issues of your foundation. Father, let that fire be released. Let deliverance come for that family right now. Right now. Who is Uche? Uche. Uche. 
or anybody connected to that name Uche 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 why are all these ones outside eh? Linda all of them I said Linda is connected I didn't say the person's name is Linda I said Linda is connected to that person who is the person please find out so that we don't who is the person please is there somebody with a medical report I'm, I'm seeing a paper I just saw a paper is there anybody with a medical report here I just saw a paper like in a bag I'm seeing a paper like in a bag in a bag like a dark bag or something and it's like a medical report or something if you are the one please come if you have the report come with it I just saw that in the spirit that means we'll soon pray for the sick please find out very quickly so that we'll know we'll save time yes, Uche. Huh? Uche. Uche, you. Yes. come I'll pray for you who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and the oceans roll to the Lord of hosts can I pray for you this prayer I want to make for you is for your future do you believe it's for your future I'm not a prophet of Dumo I'm not saying after what I say now you go back and say it will happen but there are two things that God wants to stop from happening it has already been programmed for your future the first thing is delay marriage as one the second thing I see that the enemy will fight conception please bring it down I see that the enemy will fight conception in your life you know that was giving birth and the way you fight it is that he's going to put a demonic growth in your body now as I stood here God said I should pray now because I see in the spirit that that growth is already forming so that you will not begin to just start having unusual abdominal pains at first you will think they are cramps but when they become constant to a point where you begin to take drugs too often even when you are not in your your normal period as a woman that's what I'm seeing and I want to curse it now that lady the one touching her nose yes yeah is it your nose or your mouth yes you you just removed your hand come can I pray for you if you don't want no, no problem you can stay just come Please, let's so that this place is, is rowdy already. Huh? Sister. That's, uh -huh. Come stand This here. one too, sir, is elder sister. Same elder sister. All of you? Don't, don't worry, don't send them. I'll still pray for them at least. I'll still pray for them. We don't have to send them back. Call that young man. Come, come. Come, come. Ah, there's something that must go. Come. You don't send them back like that. I'll pray except I ask them to go. Have I met you before? I've met you before. Okay, okay. You are Ezra. Come and hold my hand. There's something that will break out of your life in the name that is above every, every other name. I command the fire of God to break that yoke now. Let him go. Go in the name of Jesus. I, I saw that thing. Just, just leave him. I saw his spirit. Let me pray for you. Father, let the embargo that the enemy has placed be removed. Let it be removed. I want you to pray a prayer, prayer while you are standing. Anything that the enemy has planted in my future without my knowledge, let the fire of God uproot it. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray.
Rala Hasus Kabranas, Neveros Kabas, Kabaha Riela Hatusa, Baraha Sidia. Whatever God has not planted, whatever the enemy has planted in your future, is it delayed? Is it mysterious death? Let it be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be uprooted. 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 Hallelujah. I heard the name Lois. 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 This is someone connected to you. Lois. That's what I heard. I presume that there will be quite, probably quite a number of people. I heard Lois. This person is connected to you. I don't know why God is visiting. You came, but God is visiting. Today is for families. Oh. The deliverances, the miracles tonight is not just for you, it's for your families. And I want your heart to be open because God just got started. The power of God is everywhere. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. No, please, please stop the movement. Stop. 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 I saw a breakout of the power of God. There are people that God will just visit right now in the congregation. I just saw a breakout of the power of God right now. Father, we release it in the name of Jesus. Who are you setting free? Who are you setting free? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, move in this place. Let families, individuals be set free. Just remain sensitive. It will happen. There's going to be a, a breakout of the power. I just saw. I saw God just visiting a lot of people. Yes. Yes. Your elder sister is Lois. Come stand here. Wait. I'm seeing somebody like your color. Tall. Like probably a little taller than you. That's Lois. I'll pray for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. While I'm singing, bring the light skin, light skin lady that will come under the power of God while I'm singing right now. I just I just saw somebody right now. By the power of God. Imarama Imarama hey. Imarama You are seated on the throne Imarama you are seated on the throne. Cabros Catabaliasa, Imarama, 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 you are seated on You are seated on the throne. Every deliverance that God does tonight will be perfect. And every family that God visits tonight will experience total liberation. I said will experience total liberation. The young man putting on blue shirt by the window. Can I pray for you? Yes, please come. Lois, where is Lois? Lois is in Damaturu. Yes, sir. What is she doing? She walking? Yes, sir. She's walking? Yes, she's working with WFN. Huh? She's working with WFN. W, yeah, that's what I saw.
go and tell your sister okay two things i'm saying number one promotion and not only will it be like a promotion it will be like like a new organization entirely something new and something bigger i don't know is she married no because that's the second prophecy go and tell her that the embargo on her life has been broken and listen listen (laughs) ah god doesn't always do this one like this but between now and ending january god will settle her maritally that's what i'm saying between now i saw like 90 days between now and january will be around 90 days between now and january if god be god and be on the throne god is visiting lois father we declare that this miracle is sealed by your power and by your right hand in the name of jesus and there's a grace on your life from today god is going to begin to use you in a mighty way in the name of jesus who are all these people all connected to lois lois no this is one I've, i've seen this one okay but i'll just pray for all of you father i pray in the name of jesus that you stretch your right hand and visit them in the name this lady come who did you come with nobody can i pray for you yes as you stand there i know that you have needs you want things god to visit in your life even your health i see god going to do something about your health but God said I should pray for you because there's a new anointing coming on you. You don't know that you are a vessel in the hand of God. But it's time for God to begin to use you. Please lift your hands. Father, I stretch my hands. Let that anointing be released upon her now. Like fire in your bones from today, you'll be a vessel of the Lord. You'll be a vessel of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And there's a man around you come there's a man around you that i see god no 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 you just stand there's a man are you married you're not married there's a man around you i'm seeing god and trying to just know who this person is there's a man around you that i see god touching all right i don't know how connected this person is to you but this person is light skin as i'm seeing and it's almost like your, your height, almost, but a bit taller. But it's almost, I see God touching that man. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Those of you who are sick, we're about to pray for the sick right now. We're about to pray. All these ones, Lois? All of you? Okay, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you touch them visit them visit their loyalties and their families in the name of jesus please you can go back to your seat including these ones linda's come i'll pick the person i want to pray for just come the three of you is it three or four come can i pray for you just hold my hand something is leaving you now out of her just hold on Let that devil of darkness leave you now. Leave you now. Leave you now. Leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This one, Linda. Elder sister, Linda. Eh? El- her elder sister is Linda. Your elder sister? Same elder sister. Hoska. Si Kabarahade. Le Kreboskama. Imarama, you are seated on the throne. Imarama, you are seated on this Linda. I'm seeing you step, just step forward, you because the Linda I'm seeing now among the three of you, I'm seeing a slim lady. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a slim lady. I'm seeing a slim lady. 
that's the description God is giving me you move as God shows you there's no two ways about it I'm seeing a slim lady thank you father and this Linda there is a yoke of delay that God wants to break in her life there's a yoke of delay that God wants to break in her life I'm seeing a slim lady I'm seeing a slim lady Holy Ghost Holy Ghost how be it I'll still pray for you even if you are not the one I'll still pray for you that's why I told you to step forward all right where do you stay Huh? Stay in Adama. You stay in Adama? Yes, sir. But you are here now. Yes, are you a student? Yes, sir. You are a student? Yes, sir. I'll pray for you. This Linda has a yoke of delay that God wants to break. As a yoke of delay. Repeat after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I said repeat after me everybody. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cancel the yoke of delay in my life and over my family I cancel the yoke of delay in my life and over my family again I cancel the yoke of delay Thank you, Father. Which of you is Linda, a sister? Sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, is he elder? Elder, sister. elder. Which one is immediate? Two of you. Two of you. No, we'll find you. Don't worry. We'll find the person out. Okay, two of you step forward now. That means I've gotten to. I've gotten what I. But I'll, I'll touch you guys. Don't worry. Okay, you see, one thing with the prophetic is you don't rush God. You allow God. People think that the prophet is the one who manufactures. Any minister who makes you think he manufactures it, that's idol worship. It's not true. The Bible, the prophets will always say, as God showed me. So you wait on God until he shows you. Sir. You, sir, yes. You, that turned back, yes, you. Please lift your hands. What's your name, sir? Eh? Ishaku. Can you lift your hands? Say amen with the loudest part of your voice for what I'm about to say to you. God says a breakthrough is about to be released over your life. Amen. I said you should shout amen. <laughs> Wait, okay. He's overwhelmed. Put put the mic there. Who is Sunday? Eh? my friend come it's you and Sunday I'll pray for come what do you do if you want to celebrate God celebrate God for that it's not me I'm not the doer listen when you it's not me you are glorifying it's God okay you are a military personnel yes sir there's a breakthrough come that's why the first thing I heard which I didn't mention was promotion first of all But there are a lot of things fighting your your finances. There are a lot of things around you. Where are you from? What state? I'm from Adama. You're from Adama State. You are serving here currently? I'm schooling here. You are schooling here. I don't know why I'm seeing you standing, but I've seen a lot of things around fighting. And then the family you come from, bring it down a little, please. The family you come from. If this is correct then this is your word what i'm seeing is i see god raising you as a pillar in other words you are the one that many people would depend on I, is that true tell me if yes, yes or yes, no yes sir you understand what i'm saying yes sir. you are like a breadwinner yes, sir. that's what i'm seeing yes, sir. you are not married i'm married sir. you are married yes, sir. you have children no sir. You don't have children yet yes, sir. how many years have you been married i'm married 2018 2018 yes, sir. 
Can I pray for you in that regard? Yes, sir. Don't worry, sir. Don't worry, sir. Your day of deliverance has come. God has visited you today. And what I say to him, I'm saying to everybody. Before I come to you, let me start with your wife. Because God is about to restore your wife and you. You said you've been married since 2018. I don't know why I'm seeing something like blood coming out. Like this should be like a pregnancy that went. It didn't last. It just went. Did your wife have any miscarriage that you know? I don't know. Sir. Find out. Okay. All right? Because I'm seeing that by now you're supposed to have two children. But God will give you double for your trouble. Now let me come to you. God is about to give you a breakthrough. Especially in the area of your finances. Even this your studies now. I'm seeing the enemy try to fight it. So that your stay will be prolonged. I'm seeing the enemy trying to fight it. But the hand of God is about to come in for your life. And every yoke and every embargo that the enemy has placed on you. I'm praying for you now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke and every embargo that is placed on your life. That is connected to your foundation. I break it right now. 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 A breakthrough is coming for you. A breakthrough. And God said the attack of death on your life is cancelled. Father, in the name of Jesus, let deliverance come to this family. Whatever was stolen, let it be restored. Whatever the enemy stole, let it be restored. Every weight and every burden that has been on your life is broken right now. I speak as a servant of God and I declare that you are released out of that pit that the enemy has kept you into a higher ground. In the name of Jesus. Shake my hands. It's over, sir. It's over. Hmm? It's over. Go back and write these words. Tell your wife that God is going to give you double for your trouble. Are you hearing me? Next year, is a here. She will conceive again. You hear what I'm saying? You will conceive again. In Jesus' name. Can we pray for the sick? Is that okay? This night, you are not just standing for yourself. You are standing for your loved ones. People who are sick some in hospitals some at home some cases that have been written off on and god wants to visit them how many of you believe i called you yes the blue guy with the blue shirt by the window come can i pray for you do you attend this place often you come often hold my hand father we send the angel of prosperity to this family that's what the Lord said I should declare. We send the angel of prosperity. And I declare that every door that was closed is open now. In the name of Jesus. Where's your dad? He's in Adama. Tell him everything you just heard. That the doors are open. Hmm? That the doors are open. I wish we had time. I see the chains falling. Okay, this Linda, all of you are still. What was that? Linda? Okay, let me just touch all of you. But this, are, this is the person I'm looking because this Linda, there's an issue we need to deal with in this Linda. All of you just come. Let me just touch you and go. Huh? Is this two people? Father, bless them in the name of Jesus. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Did I pray for this lady? Come. Did I pray for you? Hold my hand. Something is going to come on you now. Something mighty by the power of God. 
these things are not arranged these things are real you'll be a vessel in the hands of God the lady putting on glasses yes you look down now no no don't come out just stand there are those glasses real they are real what's the condition please give put a mic there very quickly let's hear you said what I cannot see God is not done with her yet though. from far and sometimes look very close sometimes you can't see from far yes okay that's what you call it now short-sightedness put something on the screen you are about to see just put a right up anything you are about to see so right now you can't see from far you can't see very clear yes can you see the screen yes i can but you can't see what's written there i can see can you read it yes sir could you do that before no, when the writings are small. Very like, small. Yes. Okay, so how do we do it? Because I don't want to touch you. God is going to do the miracle from a distance. Put your hands on your two eyes. Just put one hand on the two eyes. Cover the two eyes like this. Put the mic on her mouth. Then when I when I pray for her, you take her to the back. Let's see if she can see what's there. Put the mic on her mouth. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. Thank you. Thank you. Because. Because. I am healed. I am healed. I can see. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. She's smiling. Okay, take your hands off. Take her further. And let's check it. God said I shouldn't lay hands on her, I shouldn't touch her, I should just pray for her. Once that is done, we'll pray for the sick and I'll prophesy over us and I'll be done for the night. In the name of Jesus. Come, let me pray for the Linda. Let me pray for the Linda. The Lord said it's you. That's what the Lord just told me now. As you step forward. Is Linda married? Yes, sir. She's not married? Yes, sir. Can we pray for her? Yes, sir. Is Linda slim? She's Not like you. you. You are. We are together. You understand? Eh? Okay, she's fatter than you. Yes, sir. Uh, but anybody that is a bit fatter than you is still slim. Abby? Uh, because she's really slim. This is super slim. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't mind them. The people are laughing at you. They want to be like you. But can I pray for Linda? Father, in the name of Jesus, let the ember go over her life. Ah. It's not only Linda, it's the entire family. I come by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic. And every enchantment that has brought delay over this family, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I break it now. I break it now. Go in the name of Jesus. And Father, we release Linda. We release Linda. We release Linda. We release Linda. There are a lot of things I would have said, but I'm, I'm not going to say it because she's not here. But go and tell her God is ending disappointment. Do you hear what I'm saying? She's crying. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is ending disappointment. Because I see a man will come, go, come, go come even the time that they gathered everybody oh then we don't know what happened that's about true. that that's true Sorry. that was supposed to be like an introduction yes. now there is a force fight hey what's the time young lady can i pray for you where are you from Adama. you are from adama yes. If you are from Adama State, lift your hands. Let's pray. Let's address. Are you ready? Can we do this prayer briefly? Please give me an atmosphere. Can we do this prayer briefly? I want to pray. 
anything that looks like limitations placed upon individuals or families associated with where you come from particularly to Adamawa state I want to address those powers now father in the name of Jesus I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood every power that fights the destiny of men particularly those from Adamawa state I cross those powers now I cross those powers now. I cross those powers now. I cross those powers now. Household witchcraft. That the person that is doing you is close to you and you don't know. In the name of Jesus, if God be God, I release judgment this night. 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 You are not playing what I want you to play. Let's pray for you. Are you from the south? Southern part of Adama? Where are you from? Huh? Huh? Talk to me now. Where are you from in Adama? Hong. Hong. Yes, Where is Hong? Is Hong at the southern part of Adama? Where is he from? Where is he? Where is it? Huh? They don't even know. See them. Listen. There are two things I'll pray for you. This is. Listen. You see. This is how you know deliverance. When God begins to go deep to your background i tell you many of us here some of us anointed but after this night is over some of us anointed gifted but you don't know why it's impossible for you to prosper can i pray for you sir yes you come i'll pray for you these are foundations that are fighting foundations they are real maybe i'll try to do a teaching on that before the year runs out it was foundation that foundational powers are one of the things responsible for Abraham's delay. Go and check. Abraham's father started giving birth at 70 years. That's why at 75 years he had no child. Many people don't know. Foundations, powers from where you come from. And because of your connection to those places, they have a legal hold on your life. There are two things for you. Look at me, my dear. There are two things. Let's address Linda first, then you, because the entire family, I see God bringing deliverance to your family. And this thing is witchcraft for the family. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Witchcraft. That's why I asked you where you are from, because I started seeing a place where there were rivers around. I started seeing rivers around. Anytime I see that, I know it's either witchcraft or it's marine. It's connected. But for Linda, there is a spirit following Linda that God wants to remove. I'm seeing Linda walking. Wait. Linda is... She's not as fair as you. She's not as fair as you, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because I'm seeing a lady walking and I'm seeing a huge shadow following her behind and anytime Linda is about to do something, that shadow will place a clot on her. Because it's not only marriage that is the problem. Other aspects of her life seems to be impeded. Yes, even yes, like, like a job or something. Yes, sir. Anytime she's about to do something or something good is about to happen, this shadow man will put a cloth on her and she's covered. Hey, believe it, oh, believe it these things are real this is not a deliverance service but believe it you may be anointed you may be gifted you may know scriptures but if satan has placed such kinds of yoke over you accept the grace of god otherwise you will continue in that cycle and the problem is anointed people become very proud they feel they don't need the deliverance you don't know why jesus went to john the baptist you think it was because it, just because of all righteousness 
one of the things that happened was John the Baptist had to set Jesus free from foundations you don't believe the word baptizer the word baptize means to submerge it's not only talking about water to submerge means you come under the influence of somebody that's why the Bible says they were baptized unto Moses in the cloud where did Moses baptize people it took the deliverance of Moses what is Moses born out of water that's the reason why he could take them through the Red Sea if you don't have spiritual intelligence you will keep living in cycles some of you is not your family the family you married into or the family somebody from your family married into the bible says rebecca isaac took her to sarah's tent that's why she became barren but this night god is setting her free i want you to call linda and tell her everything that has happened here hold my hand in the name of jesus father i cause the work of witchcraft in this family i cause the work of witchcraft and by proxy we send the power of god to linda let that shadow man be removed from her life now i command that spirit to let her go now let her go now let her go now lord we thank you for freedom in jesus name it's done it's done can we put our hands together where's the lady put something on the screen read from there could you read from that point before could you read if you if you were standing from that point could you read what's on the screen yes sir F before yes okay what's the distance oh yeah come let's use bible huh come quickly please let's use bible because you're healed you say you can't read small letters you can't read very small letters so stand from there something like this you can't read you'll have to strain yourself yes and sometimes when i start itching it okay when i start uh, it itches you yes very but it's serious. over now Amen. give a letter read don't strain your your eyes just choose a place for her letter read Come near, you nations, to hear. She's smiling. Go ahead, go ahead. Let the earth hear, and all that is in it, the word, and all things that comes from it. Let's pray for the sick. So do you believe you are healed now? Yes. What do we do with your glasses? Dash me or you go and sell it. All right, whatever you do to it Thank is you. yours. Thank you. Can we pray for the sick? There's somebody right now whose father has an eye condition too. Your father. I'm seeing a dark in complexion man. He's tall, kind of huge. He has an eye condition. In fact, it's like one of the eyes are almost going blind. As, I was, as she was reading there, God said he's healing that person now. I'm seeing your father dark in complexion is kind of tall but huge god is healing him all right we rebuke the spirit of blindness can we pray now place your hands where the condition is if it's a blood condition or is in a, a part of your body where it's delicate just put your right hand on your head if it's a blood condition or is in a excuse me a part of your body where it's delicate you can't touch that for private reasons just put your right hand on your head can we all stand so that we can pray you sent your word and heal you are the Lord you are the Lord Okay, come, let me just bless you.
are the Lord. Just allow me now that He led me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. While I'm still singing, God is healing people now. Healed my disease. You are the Lord. It doesn't matter what the condition is. God is healing you right now. God is touching you right now. You sent your word. And you. There's a lady. This is something like a growth around your breast. You are almost ashamed because you can't believe that it's happening. It's something like a growth around your breast. If you can put your hand there, put your hand because right now that growth is being dissolved. I said that growth is being dissolved. That growth on your breast is being dissolved right now. It's being dissolved right now. You sent your word and heal my disease. You are the Lord. You sent your word and heal. God is the one asking me to keep singing. He's walking while I'm singing. You are the Lord. You may want to close your eyes so that you just concentrate. God is healing while I'm singing. You sent your word and healed my disease. I'm going to pray now for the sick. But while I'm praying, there are two people that the healing anointing is coming on you. Right now. And God will begin to use you mightily in the place of healing. It's very strong. You, you can't stand it. Very strong anointing. It's coming on you. It will envelop you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority against every sickness. I take authority against the spirit of infirmity. And I command those spirits behind the sicknesses to let your people go now. I command those spirits to leave now. I said I command those spirits to leave now. I command them to go now. I command them to go now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in your bodies. Be healed in your bones. In the name of Jesus. HIV. Go now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke hepatitis. Whether A, B, or C, I rebuke hepatitis now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I command every form of migraine to depart now. Come on, you can agree with me by a louder amen. I command migraine to go now. In the name of Jesus. I command every eye condition be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Every eye condition be healed now. Without partial blindness, color blindness, river blindness, long sightedness, short sightedness, astigmatism, any eye condition be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every condition with the ear be healed now. Be healed now. There's somebody in one of your ears. Sometimes you just begin to hear noise and then you can't hear with that ear. It happens sometimes. It happens, it comes and goes. I declare and decree that the power of God heals you now. In the name of Jesus. I come against every cardiovascular condition. Every problem with the heart. Be healed now. I said be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Difficulty in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Pains around your body, especially your upper or your lower limb. Especially around your hand and your leg. Pains. 
be healed now in the name of Jesus also go in the name of Jesus also go in the name of Jesus God said I should rebuke high blood pressure from two people I rebuke high blood pressure from your life now and I declare that your blood pressure is stable in the name of Jesus I declare every condition with your bones whether they are broken dislocated out of joint or you need a recreative miracle receive your miracle now in the name of Jesus receive your miracle now in the name of Jesus I don't know but I see God touching somebody around the lap your lap your lap your tie I see God touching you around your tie whatever the ailment is I declare be healed now my God you feel something on your lap you feel like heat you feel a sensation moving on your thigh now the Lord heals you now in the name of Jesus problems with your spinal cord or your vertebral column I declare be healed now in the name of Jesus appendicitis be healed now in the name of Jesus whether I called your condition or not in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the Lord heals you now I declare that the Lord heals you now the Lord heals you now you are standing in for a loved one we send the anointing of healing to them right now we declare that they are healed completely in the name of Jesus 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 wave your hands and give God praise you are the Lord my healing now this is what you do check yourself please don't just sit down check yourself all right if you know God has healed you or God touched you like I said at the beginning if God touched you at all within the service you can come out at this point to take your testimony but particularly if you know the Lord has healed you or you felt a touch on you, whatever the condition is, I want you to come. Let's take your testimony right now. And then after that, I'll just pray and speak over us and we'll be done for tonight. Please, you can sit down. Check yourself. If you discover God has healed you, shame the devil and come out so that you can perfect the healing. He touched me. He touched me. Let's be very quick. I want us to be done in a few minutes. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Say something happened. And now I know he touched me and made me whole. If you know God touched you, please. Don't be ashamed. Don't just go with it. Come and let's take your testimonies very quick. Very, very quick. I called you, sir, to pray for you. Can I pray for you? Come. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you. The Lord said I should prophesy over you, sir. Number one. There's a season of release coming upon you. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Release. Things that are held up that are yours. God is, being re is releasing them now. Amen. And God said I should also pray for you. I kept seeing a red line on your chest. I don't know why, but God said I should pray for your health. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God said I should pray for your health. And in the name of Jesus, what do you do, sir? I work as a humanitarian staff. Huh? I'm a humanitarian staff. Yeah, a humanitarian staff. Yes. Sir. You're on contract. Yes. Sir. You're on contract. Yes. Sir. When is your contract ending? February ending. February. Yeah. Uh huh. Write this down, okay? First prophecy for you. They are going to extend that contract by six months. That's one. Are you hearing me, sir? No, yes, don't sir. worry. We are here. You understand? So if it doesn't happen, you can come back and tell us it didn't work. 
they will extend it by six months but while that is happening i see a new door opening for you amen and this will be a door of favor because it's going to be something bigger than where you are now amen meanwhile i keep seeing your hand doing something and this probably be like business or something yes sir. i see that you are going to be involved in business do you do business for now i, I did business there are sh i shut it down you shut it, it down. down yes due to some issues you ran into debt not debt per se but mismanagement and people who are handling it so it became a burden to me of what do i really so you shut it down yeah so can god open that door again yes trusting god already for a new line that's why i've been praying god to open my eyes so that to dive into something. let me tell you what you will do sir don't worry let me tell you what you will do all right because they are going to call you a contractor that's what i heard do you hear what I said? Amen. Uh, this man, I'll give your prophecy to another person. Maybe Amen. somebody who is ready. Amen. She says she connects. Amen. I said they will call you a contractor. That's Amen. What I said. Amen. Is your your do you have a registered portfolio or something? No, I don't have. I'm doing it. And when I was about to get the number, those when their office got born and I had to stop. You, you were about to get the RC number? Yes, and the office got born, so I couldn't continue then. Come, come, sir. Yes, come, bro. Joshua, come. Because this, this is triple miracle coming for you now. Amen. Amen. I told you last week. I told you the woman who called me and said her husband was caught to be caught martial, and I told her your husband will be promoted. And she said the kind of amen you are saying. Because how do you promote somebody who is about to be caught martial? But according to the word of the Lord. The husband was promoted no more court marshalling so when i give you this word don't look at me you are bigger than me yes but i'm speaking as a mouthpiece of god are you hearing me yes, sir. do you have a company is it registered yes sir because god said the favor upon you is coming upon him amen that's why i called you out huh the favor upon you is coming upon him amen and in the name of jesus let that door of favor open for you Amen. your company will be established will be registered Amen. and hear what i'm telling you they will call you a contractor Amen. because you are going to be involved in i see i see i see you will manage other people's businesses i also see what they call this thing that they do um what was this word now vendor thank you who said that uh -huh. it was i prayed for you eh? vendor contracts you are you, the work is to give vendor very soon you give yourself contracts amen that's what i'm saying amen. that's going to be your lineup amen that's going to be your next your line of business and you'll prosper amen but in the name of jesus as god is prospering you he prospers your health amen he said i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper no devil will touch your health amen in the name of jesus amen it's done sir god bless you is done and you sir favor for you Amen. huh Amen. favor hold my hand now favor for you Amen. god says don't worry your day is about to break Amen. Hmm? don't worry it's not powers that are fighting you huh because this has been your thought recently is this thing witchcraft is it a manipulation or something i think i need to go for prayers again or so yes, you've been thinking that yes sir it's not powers that is fighting you amen thank you jesus your season is about to break amen because if i be a man of god i see a paper and i see a delivery you're about to make amen and this delivery is going to be over half a million amen that's true sir that is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. I received a mail yesterday. You received a mail yesterday. Yes, sir. Oh a my contract God. of seven million naira. God before. knows everything. God knows your past, your present, 
your future. I, protocol, you have to escort this man home because this one will mention the money. Sir, now. a contract of seven million. You shouldn't have said it. Open your hands. This one must come. What, what is my share in the contract? <laughs> yeah, I know all of you are beginning to say, okay, thank God in this office, in this ministry, we don't raise seed. You have never seen my account number on the screen. So into my life. Have you seen that before? But someone, let me teach you something. See, let me teach you something. Because there are some of you here, that's your problem. When God blesses you through an anointing, instead of you to come back and appreciate God through the anointing, you either use the money to do something somewhere or you run. That's the reason why that breakthrough will happen once and not happen again. That's the problem. The widow of Zarephath was wise enough to keep Elijah after the first miracle. Because when her son would die, it was the same grace that brought maize that would raise his son. Some of you, that's a problem. And I say this without apology because by the grace of God, I've never begged as a man of God. If God blesses you through an anointing and you run away, you don't want to give offering. When God blesses you through that person now, that person becomes too small for the millions. You now go to the pastor that is... Jesus said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God. If church are asking for contribution, give them contribution. But when it's a blessing for your sa the servant of God, give him what he desires. That's how you keep the grace over your life. I'm not telling you because I want you to buy anything from me by the grace of God. I'm telling you because it will help us. This ministry, we are covenanted to certain grace. There are people I, I am covenanted to for years now. Anytime I'm blessed, I make sure they are blessed. Sometimes everything depends on the level you are looking for. That's the reason why we can never go down. Not by mistake or by fire. But you, God bless you, you now take off. Continue, eh? Continue. Amen. But this is a principle that we practice. It works for us. Are we together? Open your two hands, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be done. Amen. Let it be done. Amen. Let it be done. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's over, sir. You share your testimony to me. Let me share it. Uh -huh. God bless you. Bless Linda in the name of Jesus. Let's hear the testimony quickly and then we'll pray finally. Yes. I called you out. For what? Okay. Okay, I pointed you to come. Okay, just hold my hand. Have I prayed for you before? Uh, because I just felt the Holy Spirit just told me I've touched you before. You love God. Father, anything that is not of you in this life, let it be uprooted. Let it give way so that she will serve you. In the name of Jesus. Are you a student? Hear the word of the Lord, you will not fail. That's what I heard. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. You will not fail. Did you write an exam this week? I know students are writing exam. Did you write an exam this week? Yes, sir. Did you write an E? Did you do an E exam? No. You don't do E exam? No. Okay. You will not fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, she will serve you all the days of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. I called you out. What for? I didn't tell you. Okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want God to do for you? Let's hear the testimony, sir. Okay, sir, this is Bro Victor James. Yes. He came in here with severe sore throat. All right. But after you minister to the sick, he was in, he received his healing instantly. Severe sore throat. Yes. As we put our hands together for God. Yes, sir. No miracle is small or big. The next time you have sore throat, that's when you will appreciate this kind of healing. In fact, sir, he couldn't drink water without pains, but now he can drink water. Yes, I see him with water. He's drinking water. Yes, sir. It's perfected in the name of Jesus. 
And Victor, God make you a healer as well. In Jesus' name. Yes. So this is Kenneth Elias. Kenneth. Healed of migraine for migraine two weeks. For two weeks. Yes, sir. I saw you hitting your head there. Were you trying to check if the migraine was still there? And it's good. I saw you hitting. I was, I was shocked. I said, hey. Perfected forever in Jesus' name. Never to return in Jesus' name. Wait, 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 wait. This migraine thing is in your family and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I see people in your family having this issue. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Hmm? Even your mom. Where is she? I, I see her also having issues with the head. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Yes. God bless you, sir. Next. Sir, this is Sister Rahila Victor. Rahila Victor, okay. Yes, sir. For the past three days now, she has been suffering from peptic ulcer disease. All right, Severe ulcer. pain, yes. Severe pain. And it's gone? Yes, sir. After the ministration, she received her healing instantly. Completely. Yes, sir. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed completely. And not only ulcer, anything that the devil has placed in your body lets you go now in the name of Jesus. Help her. Can we close the service tonight? Is it okay for us to close here? Please stand. I want to pray for you. Amen. What do you do? See me after now. Huh? And just see me after now. I want to pray for you and I want you to believe these prayers with the depth of your heart. It takes the prophetic for people to experience a shift in their destinies. It was by a word that the earth was created. Everything that God does, He does by the spoken word. Your career, your academics, your marriage, your finances is about to shift. I sense an anointing for career, careers. The career of people here are about to experience a shift. Please lift your hands. And I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone under the sound of my voice, whether you are here or you are online. Anyone trusting God for a shift, a positive and a favorable shift in their career, let that door of favor open for you now. I said, let that door of favor open for you now. Every door that has been shut against you. That has kept your life hot at this spot. I command those doors to break open now. Break open now. Break open now. In the name of Jesus. Those of you in business, I want to pray for you. I don't care how long you have experienced lack or you have experienced smallness. But in a name that is above every other name. I shift you to a place of abundance now. I declare that miracles will happen for you now. Miracles within the next seven days that will turn your business around. In the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for a change in their finances. In the name of Jesus, receive the help of God. Receive the help of God. May the breath of God come upon your finances. Move from thousands to tens of thousands. Move from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands. Move from hundreds of thousands to millions. Move from millions to, to seven, eight zeros. In the name of Jesus. God is releasing contracts, contracts. That's what I'm saying, hearing contracts 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 even if you have no business expecting any contract we bend that contract to come your way we intercept it to come your way in the name of Jesus and perhaps you don't need it listen perhaps you don't need it but somebody in your family needs that contract may God jump a million persons and locate that person I said, may God jump a million persons and locate that person. In the name of Jesus. I'm still praying for you.
I pray that between now and the end of this year, experience supernatural speed. Experience supernatural speed. Where you are, you are already behind time. And it's almost as though before the end, you will not end this year without fulfilling the things you were trusting God for. The grace that was upon Elijah that caused him to outrun the chariots of Ahab. I pray that that grace comes upon you now. I'm praying it to come upon your life now. Receive the grace for speed. 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 In the name of Jesus. And finally, I pray for your spiritual lives. While your hands are lifted up and your eyes are closed. Lord, I pray that a fresh anointing will come upon your children. Some of you, that's what you need. A fresh anointing. A fresh anointing. Let it come upon you. 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 A fresh anointing from above. A fresh anointing from above. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your prayer life receives the energy and the grace of the Spirit of God. Soar to new levels in prayer. Rise to new places in the Word. May revelations be opened to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that it is well for, with you. It is well with you. It is well with your families. And I declare supernatural advancement on every side in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen.